Ready? It's been about 100 years since I've done a live. I was just about to do my Sunday derma roller regimen, so I thought I'd take you with me. Um, and I'm actually gonna roll out not only my face with this guy, it's my gold roller, but I'm also going to roll out my stomach with our body roller. And of course, on both areas, I am going to use uh, the snail goo or Tensage 40 ampules. They are on the skin spot. All of this stuff is on the skin spot. And so what I do every single Sunday um, to keep the pores small, to keep the skin tight, um, to put collagen, literally I call it shoving a collagen into my skin, um, is I basically take one of these ampules that's got the snail goo in it and crack it. It starts filling up this little sponge at the end. I don't know if you can see it getting yellow. And then basically I just put the snail goo all over my face. Let me turn on some lights for you. There you go, is that better? <laughs> um, put the snail goo all over. And then I will take the roller, my gold roller. Um, I like gold because it's antimicrobial. These guys last three years or more, depending on how often you use them. There's also a stainless steel one available that's a lot cheaper, lasts about a year. So on the skin spot, but what I do is basically little short movements. Don't forget the lip line, you guys. You want to get your lip <laughs> because you want to plump up that lip line so you don't get the, you know, lines that sort of cross the border later on in life. So I make sure that I get all of it. And you'll see your face turn like pink. Um, even though these are 0.2 millimeter, that's the other thing you guys, it's a myth that you have to get these long ass needles on your roller. You don't want long needles, they'll cause issues. But short 0 0.1, 0 0.2 is all you need. You just need to make a poke in that top, top layer of skin. You don't need to like literally impale yourself with needles. So again, getting that top border of the lip. I don't want those kissy lines ever. And again, just short movements with the snail goo already applied to my nose. And somebody asked if you have to put in a sterile washer. I don't. I actually just, after I'm done with it, I'll rinse it. And then I will put rubbing alcohol on it. And then leave it to dry. And then before um, using it next time, uh, I just rinse it with water. And that's all you really have to do. And because it is gold, it is antimicrobial. But again, you guys, it's a 0.1 or 0.2 millimeter we're talking about here. So... So almost done. Just continuing all around. I don't know if you can tell I'm getting a bit red where I've done it and not red here yet where I haven't done it. And I do this, you guys, every single Sunday. And I think at-home treatments are really important. Just like, you know, you want to come into the office you know, once every month, once every two months, three months max, and get those like heavy duty, you know, treatments. But that doesn't mean you can't take care of yourself at home too. And I always say it's like working out with your trainer when you come see me, but it's working out by yourself when you're at home. And both are valuable. You might not push yourself as hard as when you have a trainer, but still valuable. I'm just going to put a little bit on my neck. You guys, you can put it on the back of your hands too. I'll do that for you too and show you how I do that. So again, just applying the snail goo. Tensage 40, it's on the skin spot. Where all the good things are. <laughs> so just rolling out the neck. And I'll let this sit, you guys. After I do this and after I roll out... I'll give it like a good few hours before I apply like any other skincare product. And that's kind of why I like to do it on my lazy Sundays because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anything to do. 
and um, I don't need to put on makeup. I don't need to put on sunscreen. Because if you do this and then immediately you put on stuff, you could break out. So it's really good to just do it and let it be for a while. Because those channels technically are, you know, open and you don't want to get makeup and gunk in them. Okay, so that's basically how I roll out hands. So basically put the tensage on your hands and then just roll out the back of your hand too. And that will shove a bunch of collagen into the back of your hand. Don't forget your fingers, especially up to that second knuckle. So first knuckle, second knuckle. I always just go up to the second knuckle because that's where the oldness goes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do the other hand and then I'll show you the body. So just, that was enough. So one ampule was really enough for um, the face, the neck, and the hands, and then I'll use a second ampule for the body. So I'm just looking. Yeah, so somebody said, is, is it microneedling? Yes, it's derma ruler, and it's not glue, it's actually snail collagen. Um, it's called the Tensage 40 ampules. So it really just amps up the collagen production than if you did it alone. Another thing you can totally use with this is our HA Boost, which I'll show you. It's right here. If you're looking for a little bit of hydration instead of collagen formation, you can use that HA Boost or you can use the cyan um, hyaluronic acid as well. It's called the pure hyaluronic acid. So those two are really good for hydration. Um, if you want to roll you know, more than just once a week, um, the tensage ampules are kind of pricey. So I highly recommend getting the HA, one of those HAs um, so that you can kind of roll out more frequently. And that's it. This is also really good for scars. It's really good for acne scarring, chicken pox scars, um, accidents where you have like, you know, dog bites, anything. It's really good. Okay, so now that I'm done with it, I'm just going to rinse it, warm water. I will leave it here for a minute, but then I will um, pour rubbing alcohol on it as well. Okay, so now we have the body roller. I just want you guys to see the body roller is kind of angled. Um, so that it can kind of get into those spaces and also in the thighs you can do your arms I've seen a lot of like tennis ladies come in and they have that crepiness around their elbows So this is really good to do there But today I am going to focus on my abdomen because when I do this, I'm starting to get these <laughs> Who's with me the children will do this to you. I swear So I'm just gonna pull this down a teeny bit and really get the snail goo kind of everywhere so when you squeeze it, it's kind of like a squeezy bottle. So when you squeeze it, the snail goo comes out. I'll rub it in. Okay. And now we will take our roller and again, short strokes and just roll out the body. And this is like a quick little thing. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, the face does feel a little bit more prickly, but the body is a little bit more resilient and it doesn't hurt at all. So the snail serum is on theskinspot.com. Somebody asked if this does not hurt at all. Um, so all of this stuff and all my favorite skin stuff, I started the website seven years ago, you guys, and it's curated and I only bring on the best of the best in medical grade. Everything I bring on has to be medical grade and studied. So, I'm just going to do this for a little while longer. Oh, and you guys, the rollers are password protected. So just DM me if you'd like the password. The company makes us password protect them. So if you look up roller on the skin spot, you'll see the gold roller, this body roller that I'm using, and then also a titanium roller. It's a little bit more cost effective, but the beauty of these is they last a really long time and they're not crappy and the needles don't bend and you're not gonna like injure yourself and they're studied, so. So just rolling out the stomach. But I'm gonna focus really on this upper area. And this is also really good for lymphatic drainage. Um, 
I know a lot of people like to use rollers. This is kind of like a roller with needles in it. <laughs> you know, I just can't have a roller. It has to have a needle somewhere. So that's really it, you guys. So I just do this every Sunday. Um, I typically will do this on my thighs as well, especially the front of the thighs. I'm starting to get that little skin laxity pseudocellulite situation happening. So when it was quarantine and um, I started working out in my gym for the first time in my life, um, there's overhead lighting and I was walking on the treadmill and my thighs were like, I was like, what the hell's happening? So that's when I really, you know, about a year ago, started getting into the body rolling. I've been using the derma rollers on my face for a really, really long time. Um, but the body rolling really started paying more attention to that body skin in quarantine. All right, you guys, so that's it. Um, I will put a quick little link um, to the skin spot here for you guys. The skin spot, um, dot com. And um, I am actually going to, um, I'm actually going to maybe even do, you know how I've been doing those closet edits? I might even do a drop on the skin spot, like a temporary drop of all the clothes that are gently used of mine. Um, so if that sounds like a good idea, make sure you go on the skin spot and you sign up for the newsletter. Um, probably the end of this month, we're going to do a drop of all the tops that I am getting rid of. Um, I will put all of the proceeds towards charity, of course. And, um, so that's coming to the skin spot too, just as a fun little thing, raise some, raise some funds for a good cause. So, um, have a great Sunday, you guys. I hope that you have a gorgeous day. It's absolutely beautiful in Los Angeles and hoping to spend some time with the kids and do a little bit of organizing. So see you guys later. Bye.